Well, you guys spoke and I listened. Um, I put in the last video that we were <clears throat> looking to get a chop saw just to help with not having to use a porta band on the job site. And so um, I'd already been looking at Evolution anyway because we have an Evolution mag drill and absolutely love it. And so decided to jump on and get an Evolution. This is the I got it's S380 CPS. Um, I don't know if this has got the cast base. I was told not to get the stamped base to get the cast um, table or the cast base on this one. And they had a on Trick Tools, uh, no advertising here, but um, Trick Tools has some really good stuff, really great prices. And um, they had a deal that you could get the chop, sand, chop saw stand, um, I think it was like 100 bucks or something. And it's got like two little pieces on the side, like little, um, not rollers, but little um, guides, I guess, to um, put your material. And um, this will go up to 45 degrees, and which is fine for us. This will be great. Actually, keeping set up here in the shop all the time when we go out on the job site, we'll, you know, fold it all up, load it in the trailer and go. And um, that way we've got something a lot more accurate, a lot quicker. It's got a great clamp on it, and um, so you can clamp stuff down. Not have to hold stuff or like you saw in the video the other day Stephen was holding something something for me while I had to cut it and um, it's just inaccurate not the most efficient way to do it this is going to speed things up greatly so let's uh, unbox it and get it going I love stickers. Cool little trick tools. Love decals and stickers. I've got a bunch I've been saving. I'm actually gonna make a sticker wall. Um, other welding companies, other construction stuff, pretty cool. Um, let's get the literature out here. No idea what that is. This is to slide over your clamp. So when you're doing round stuff, which we do a lot of for handrails, you can put a, put this, uh, this just holds better. It gives you a better clamping surface for pipe and so forth for, for round material. This is, I believe, the um, chip tray. This should slide under the saw and collect all the chips and debris. Comes with a nice, 14 inch blade. I believe that's going to do some damage. So, just first appearance, it looks extremely, extremely heavy duty here. One thing I did not like, so I will tell you, I was looking at, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's Fien or Fine. I think it's F-E-I-N, and they make a chop saw. It looks just like this, but it's orange and black. And everybody that had responded to the last video said, evolution, evolution, evolution. And um, a buddy of mine actually has one of those Fiends, Fines, however you say it, and loves it. It's about $100 more, um, but he loves it. So. On the reason I went with this, like I said, I've been looking at these. We have an Evolution mag drill, plus it comes with a little stand. I think he said he had to use the, some kind of stand he got from Harbor, Harbor Freight. But anyway, this stand is, when I open, open it up here in a minute, you'll see it's made for this. So, uh, the, the thing I did not like about that, it had a chain that attached somewhere here and hooked to here, and that's what held it down. Whereas this one, kind of like a Dewalt chop saw, it's got this little button back here just pull it in and out it's like my miter saw and everything we use for for wood it's the same thing um i don't know just a lot more professional a lot better looking 
chain just kind of seems, I don't know, cheap. So it gives you directions because I was watching a video somebody had done and they were trying to cut a 45 and it didn't cut all the way through. And so this tells you here, there's three slots. You have to have your fence in one of the first two slots closest to, to, to the, the um, clamp. If you have it in the back one, you will not go all the way through. So in order to do 45, you have to place your fence in these, the first two slots, position two and three. One of my concerns was how easily this moves, you know, how quick it is to, to change. And that's really quick, wow. But I'm gonna have to move. I think everything just goes by this Allen wrench here that comes with it. Because the one thing about a One thing about my Dewalk chop saw I used to have was it was pretty quick to change from a you know zero degree to 45 or whatever it may be. And so if you're on a job site, you don't want to have to be unbolting stuff all the time and moving stuff. It becomes a pain. I wanted something that's really quick, so I'll actually probably leave this set in one of the first two positions because we cut you know so many angles. So I'm actually probably just gonna move it all the way up to the first one here. And all you're doing is got the the where this goes in, it's threaded, it's got a little insert, and where this, this bolt goes here, this one is where you adjust it. This one just stays tight all the time. I think that actually has got just it's got like a sleeve on it's not tight tight and then basically you just set this in here it's got preset points here okay so that'll actually stay up so that's your little lock there it'll actually stay up if you want to so i can move that freely and set it wherever i want or i can it's got preset notches here for 15 30 and 45 so since i'm in the first notch or number three position I'm gonna come all the way up. So that means right there, when I lock that in, that would be my 45, a quarter turn and she's ready to go. So that's actually super easy. Quarter to, so it sets it just on the 45, I'm guessing that's what it is, and the zero. So if I go from zero to 45, 10 seconds, done. And then this here is like I said for round material which we'll use pretty pretty often i'll probably honestly leave it on here um, because that's going to allow us to clamp material like that so we'll have to try it and see it looks pretty pretty solid i don't know if that's stamped or what that is to be honest with you that's one downfall. People were saying the, the stamped metal was, was cheap. Um, I don't know. Doesn't look too bad. I'm going to put this in. I think this is going to go in the back. So it's got like a little lock. It feels like it's got a spring up here. I'm not sure if it does or not, but. So basically, once again, same Allen wrench for everything else. This is probably what you use to put your blade on. This is what you use to adjust your uh, fence. This is what you use here. It's got, you can see it's got like a little piece that turns up like a little lock. So it's got a spring loaded. So that way you don't have to, you just turn that a quarter turn, it locks it. 
and then when I turn it, you know, to empty it, it's gonna pop out. And that way I'll just grab it and pull it out and dump the chips. So it comes with these extra ones up here, and I don't know if that's. It's got a button here right above your right above your little shield. There's a button. You have to push that to lock the motor. So therefore you can loosen your plate here to get your blade off. I think you might be able to put a 15 inch blade on this. So if so, I'm guessing that's why, because it comes with these two extra plates, and they're bigger. So I'm wondering if that's for a bigger blade. I can't read Spanish, so I'm reading the wrong one. It doesn't say anything about taking those off. I'm just gonna hold on to those because I have a feeling that's for a, I think you can put a 15. I'm not positive. Maybe it was the Fiend or Fine or whatever I was reading. One of them you can run a 15 inch blade or a 14. Again, push your little button there. Snug that up. One thing I don't see. brushes. So this is Yeah, so this is actually Yeah, so this is actually I'm okay. So this is a 14 inch blade. This is a 15 inch saw, so you can run a 15 inch blade on this. Not sure what the benefits are. I have to read in, read into that, check it. But um, if this is a 14, it will run a 15, and I'm gonna guess that's what these other two plates, you put the bigger plates on for running the bigger blade. I'm just gonna put that down. Like I said, I thought it was supposed to come with extra, but I don't see it. extra brushes because they go in right there, but I don't see them. So I'm 
not sure if I missed it or what. this just on the tabletop it's not a problem but the thing is if you're out on the job site you can set this up you know right beside where you're working and have a little table to work it's just about being efficient and I feel like this makes things a lot more efficient when you've got this to put it on Actually, got. I was pushing these things. I was like, they're really big. So it's actually got a handle. You just grab that and fold it. Like the old pop-up tents, like the ten by ten tents. They got the things you push in for the legs, but this one's actually even better. Just squeeze the handle. Nice. Good, buddy. How are you? Good, good. Uh, what are the plans on delivering the PH50 frames? They're on the trailer. I'm going to be over there probably about 1230 or so. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I'm on. Uh, I was going to say, I'm bringing them, and then I've also got that aluminum jig. We went ahead and made another jig just so we could keep it here in case. You, I don't know if you're going to need any more of those frames or not, but. We just took and made a um, basically, basically half a frame, just the one one inch square tubing. We just made one side of it, and just and we just stuck it in the trailer. That way, if you need any more, you don't have to send that piece back. Um, but I've got five okay. five frames that aluminum piece. Are you going to need any more? If if so, I'll hold on to this pallet of stuff because there's some there's quite a few pieces of the four inch uh, square tubing left. And... Uh, yes, sir. Just go ahead and keep it. Uh, okay. Because you may need. It may be easier for you to use those. Uh, scrap pieces with the, uh, with the other, I mean, with these other frames that you're getting ready to build? Yeah, because they're, they're five by five, and these are five by ten, so we might be able to use, are, are they out of one inch square tubing also? Um, to be honest, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, that's okay. No, I that's think, fine. I think some, um, I'll get the, uh, I'll get the, uh, 
Okay.
wanted to try that. These clamps are a little, I'm not sure exactly where they go. It's got to go on a flat surface. It's got to go on the top of this piece because there's like a little indention on this side, but that's not going to work. So I think we got it snugged up pretty good. And my favorite part of this tool is the magnetic wand. That's pretty cool. So So it's made for actually cleaning the shavings out from in here. You can take this and I guess you kind of, you know, pick up all your shavings or whatnot, or I'm not sure. But then what you do is you just pull that handle and that releases the magnet. It pulls the magnet up inside, push it back. There you have it, the Evolution S380 CPS. Looks pretty dang heavy duty. We're gonna find out in just a few minutes. So you got your little adjustable pieces here. I think that one's actually probably the max it'll come out. So it's not made for like a 20 foot piece, you know, we'll have little small pieces on here. Um, they do slide in and out, but they've got set screws here so you can raise this up and down. Then they've got set screws underneath. They're not rollers, but they'll do for support. That's all we need. Pretty neat little setup there. I might have to raise it up a little bit. It's got two more notches, so it'll come up about another two inches. For me, I'm tall, so probably raise it up a little bit, be a little bit easier to use. So, see if we can uh, make some cuts and see what it'll do. So, right now, I've got this little adapter. It just slides over the clamp, and I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna try first thing is just some square tubing, one inch. That's 11 gauge, so it'll be one eighth thickness, one inch. And this will give me an opportunity also to set the height of my little piece here, my little support bracket. Everything else is tight and good. Tighten this up. Let's see what she'll do. Pretty much just cut through that like butter. Absolutely like butter. I definitely need some earplugs because it's a little loud. And that's set on zero. It looks like it's off a little bit. I may uh, put a square on it just to try it. But let me get some earplugs because that's definitely loud. So what I like about this, as you can see, it doesn't throw sparks. Whereas the abrasive saw, like a Dewalt, it's got the abrasive blade on it. Pretty much like a grinding blade, it throws a lot of sparks. And um, this does not. You can see it throws out a lot of chunks. It's kind of like the uh, our Milwaukee skill saw, metal metal cutting skill saw. It kind of does the same thing. Same, same, same blade, just a lot bigger. So let's make another cut on that and I'm gonna cut some 45s on the pipe, see how that does.
that's um, pretty dang smooth. And I realized what this is, uh, I was, I was kind of confused, but that's actually a stopper. So you can measure, say you've got to cut 20 pieces, five inches long, you would slide this in, get your five inches, you can adjust this also, this comes in and out, and that way you can have your five inch pieces, you clamp it, slide it over, and um, there you go. I'm gonna cut a 45 here. What I'm gonna do is just loosen this, pull my pin up, and go to 45. Like that. And we'll slide our little jig back on. So I don't know how that's going to work. We'll see that because I'm not used to it holding the material up like that. It's not laying flat on the the base. I don't know how that's going to work. But so I can see where my blade comes down. So I can see whether whether or not I'm going to be able to cut it. One thing is for sure, that's a dang clean cut right there. I know it's a new blade, and these blades probably aren't cheap. That one, it actually comes with a blade, but that's pretty clean there. So let's cut another one. We'll put them together and see if we get a clean 90. piece that's coming off that one it slung all the way across the room that's not good I don't know how to stop that um, yeah the first one it just kind of fell over that one it slung all the way against the plywood wall over there anyway let's um, take these two pieces out so now we've got two 45s and let's see that's a clean clean corner there Wow that's pretty dang clean if I say so myself. That's a really clean corner, clean cuts. Weld that up and grind it and you'll have a nice... Let's see what I'll do with some aluminum. Pretty clean, leaves a little bit of burr on the back, but no different than a porta a porta band or bandsaw. So let's drop this back to 15 degrees here. 
Oh, never mind. You can't do 15 degrees. So you can, so there's only a hole. I think I already knew that. There's only holes for 45, the preset, so it drops in there. If you want to do a 30, you go right to the back side of that mark. And then also a 15, you go to the back side of the 15 there, and you just clamp it here. And it's also got a dial indicator back here. It's got a little protractor. So that would be a 15 degree there. I like this clamp. It's, it's really quick. Pretty clean. It dang sure makes a mess, but so I'm not sure about the tray. It's got a chip tray that I showed you when I was putting it together, and it's under here. So this whole thing is just a chip tray that slides out the back. But as you can see, it makes a mess. But well, everybody said get the evolution, and that's what I've been looking at anyway. So. Here it is. Went ahead and picked up the uh, Evolution. This is a 15 inch. Um, with the, the stand, you get a package deal on Trick Tools. It's like 600 and some bucks. So, anyway. Hey, I'm Matt Co. Hey, I'm Matt with Matt Co. Metalworks. And uh, if you watched our last video, you saw us doing some handrails. And uh, we were using the Porta Band, which is a great tool, but it's not very efficient, not very safe for if you don't have a vise. For doing stuff on site, this is so much better. <clears throat> this kind of folds up the the table folds up. Throw it in the back of the truck, and you've got a great tool for using in the shop. Like we're gonna do, I've got it set up, and I'll leave it set up here. That gives us two options for cutting plus support of bands here, and then on site we'll More use efficient, this. a lot quicker by far, a lot safer also because you've got this heavy duty clamp to clamp your pieces in, especially when you're working with pipe. It gets kind of tricky wanting to turn on a bandsaw but uh other than the the piece that went flying over there luckily nobody was standing there definitely gonna have to tell the guys to uh watch out for that and especially if you're on site might have to kind of put something some kind of blocker or something make it maybe make even a little extension piece that comes there to uh stop that but anyway there you have it that's the evolution i'll definitely be using that you can feel the power in the machine when you turn it on and um, it's got a lot of cutting capacity so i don't know what the largest thing is you can cut on this like i said this we've got the 14 inch blade on here um, you can put a 15 my air compressor always comes on at the wrong time you can put a 15 and that would increase it but i don't know i'm guessing it's probably six or seven inches something like that because it would be well it's not going to be quite half the blade because You've got your the discs and stuff to hold that on. So I don't know, maybe four or five inches. We'll have to test it out and see. I can't imagine we'll ever cut anything that big anyway. We we would uh, put that on that bandsaw over there, which has about a 11 or 13, something like that capacity. So anyway, there you go. If you're interested, Evolution. Check them out on Trick Tools. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.